while back, um, I believe it was just before Christmas, um, I started a thing where I was turning a uh, engine, a gasoline engine, into a steam engine. Um, I got sick. Some things came up, so I had to put that on the on the back burner. Um, but now that everything's calmed down again, I'm back to it. Um, basically, the only thing I need to do right now is see if the thing runs. So, I've uh, managed to borrow my father's compressor, and uh, gonna put some air through it and see if it actually does something. Quick word on safety here before we get started. Um, what I'm doing now is ridiculously dangerous. Um, I have never had this engine running as an engine, as a as a gasoline engine. I don't know how sound it is. Um, I believe that it's fine um, but there is always the potential for something to go very wrong <clears throat> so um, I'm not gonna say don't try this at home but if you are going to attempt to do something along these lines using high pressure uh, air or high pressure water you always want to be very careful. Um, I'm wearing my apron. Uh, it's not going to protect me if big chunks start flying around, if this thing explodes. But um, it is some level of protection. Right now I, had to, I just have this very plumbed up very basically. Um, I have the compressor. I'm using the um, pressure regulator as an on-off switch. Uh, right now, the, the compressor is charged to 100 PSI, um, and the pressure regulator is turned right down to zero. Um, and I have this at um, bottom, dead center. Actually, it's a little bit above that, um, which means that the valve is open. So as soon as I start letting air in, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to go right out. So going to turn the pressure valve on and we're going to see what happens. Okay, I'm not sure if you can hear that. Damn, it's leaking around the top. I got to tighten that up. All right, I uh, got it tightened. I must have just only put this in finger tight. I'm not sure why, but uh, it's all tightened up now. Um, I do have air going into it at the moment, but uh, it's almost nothing. It's only about half a PSI. So we're going to crank it up and see if it does anything. Okay, this is 10 PSI. A uh, bit of a technical snafu. Uh, I'd forgotten that I'd turned the compressor off, so it's back on. Um, and uh, I think we were at 15 PSI. Alright, uh, you might notice. Looks a little different. Um, because the compressor is so small, it didn't have time, or sorry, I didn't have time to turn the pressure valve up to the pressure that I wanted before the compressor was empty. So, I've cobbled together some plumbing parts that I have lying around from other projects and put in a on-off valve. And as you can see, it works. So, right now, we're sitting at 20 PSI. And as you can see, it completed its revolution, but it didn't continue that revolution. 
I'm hoping that is just because there's not enough air and I'm, I'm hoping it's not because this is not an adequate um, uh, flywheel because that would really suck. Alright, that's 30. This is 50 PSI. And there we go. So, um, I'm surprised. It works really well. Uh, I did a quick test. Um, I cranked up the pressure to 60 PSI. I opened the valve and I let it run. Um, to see when it would stop. And turns out somewhere between 40 and 45 PSI is where it stops functioning. Um, which I'm perfectly happy with. To be honest, I was expecting like 80 to 90 PSI to get this thing running. Um, now... I actually have to turn it into some sort of steam engine. Um, we already know that it runs on compressed air. What I'm going to do, I have several propane tanks that are um, no good anymore. They're past their due date of 10 years. So I can't get them refilled. Can't exchange them, but I don't need an exchange tank. So, I'm going to take one of those. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take two propane tanks. Um, somehow, I think I'm going to mount this thing, the whole thing, on a, uh, a two-wheeled push dolly, you know, for moving furniture and stuff. Um, so that when it, you lay it down flat, um, you'll have the compressor at the very bottom, and then, that was weird. You'll have the compressor at the very bottom. Then you'll have your water tank. And then you'll have your fuel tank. I might mount something on that side uh, to power a small um, DC motor. And, and I want to use this as an emergency generator. Um, also... I want to use this as a water pump. What I'm going to do is create a, um, you know those old timey hand pumps? You crank and you pump water. Uh, I'm going to create one of those for the cottage. Uh, for uh, emergencies, I'm going to take and create a, a hand pump. Um, did a little research, not hard to make. Um, I already have some plans drawn up. I just have to get a few pieces from, uh, where did I see them? I think it was in Rona that I saw the parts that I needed. Um, but anyways, it's a couple pieces of pipe, a few check valves, and you're basically done. And with that, um, I'm going to mount a little piece on the handle that will attach to the other side of this. Um, picture the, 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 picture the shaft spinning with an arm coming out. So it goes around. Okay. Um, and then that arm is then connected to the arm of the water pump. So as this spins, it does this, which then will pump the water. <laughs> 